Hey, this is a quick tutorial on how to get Olama running on a Discord channel that you interact with. So essentially a way to chat with something like ChatGPT on your Discord server. In this case, we're going to use Llama 2, which is an open source large language model. I've got Olama already installed here. I've got a server running. Now, if you go to the documentation for Olama, you can see that it has all kinds of different extensions and plugins that people have built. One of them is this Discord AI bot. Pretty straightforward. I ran into a couple of stumbling blocks, so I'm going to walk through them step by step. But first, I'm just going to show you how this thing works. I've set up my bot in the Discord developer portal here in Discord. I've got my own Discord server, and you can see I've got a little bit of a chat transcript already going with my Discord bot, which I've called Olama bot. And so if I just mention the bot, I can ask it questions. So we were talking about real estate and I'm just going to say it's the seller's fee for an MLS listing. So let's kind of think about that. It says it varies 2% to 8% depending on various things. So you can see we've got our agent working. So how do we set this up? We downloaded Olama. I'm on Mac OS. And once that's downloaded, I'm going to run the application. Puts a little icon up here in your dock if you're on a Mac, but otherwise you might not know that it's running. Now, Olama has its own set of documentation for how to get started, and the way you would run it is to say Olama run Llama 2. So let's open up a terminal window. Windows, you might use PowerShell. And let's just check and see if we've got this Olama command. Okay, seems like we do. It's given us some suggestions for things we can do. Olama run Llama 2 got a prompt. It's running. Can I ask it a question? Yes, I can. So we know it's working. It's now to the Discord bot. Clicking on the documentation here. It gives us some setup instructions. I'm not going to go through how to install Node.js. Hopefully you've uh, done a little bit of development and installed that, but otherwise click the link and follow the directions. Same with Olama. So now we need to create a Discord bot. So I'm going to open this up. And this is the one I already showed you, but let's do one from scratch. So I'm going to say new application. Let's call it Llama Bot. Agree to the terms. Get the bot. And now it opens us to this general information screen about our bot with our application ID, our public key, etc. Back in our documentation here, it says under application bot. Enable message content intent. So here we are inside our bot. With message content intent. Enable server members intent. Invite the bot to a server. Go to application OAuth2 URL generator. Here I am. OAuth2. URL generator. We're going to enable the bot. We're going to enable these permissions. And then we're going to click, copy, and paste the URL into the browser. Here's our bot. Here's our permissions for that bot. And here is our URL. Open window, paste in the URL. You get these permissions. And you should see the server that you want to add it to. So I'm going to say digital futures. Note that you have to be a server admin to be able to do this. There's all my permissions that I allowed it. Click authorized. Find the polar bears. Success. So now for the AI bot code itself. Never cloned a GitHub repo. You can either just download a zip file and extract it to your hard drive or you can copy this command and run git clone plus this URL. I've already got the code, so I'm just gonna open it up in VS Code. Visual Studio Code is available for Mac, PC, Linux. You shouldn't have a problem installing it if you haven't used it before. And if I want to run a project in there, I can just drag my folder, and there we go. I've got a terminal open here. The shortcut for that on my system is control plus tilde. And then in step seven here, they want us to rename the .env.example file to .env. 
here it is, I'll open it, and I'm just going to actually save it as a separate file, so I have the other one to reference. And then it wants us to get a token from application bot token back in our developer portal. So in the bot token, you can see we never saw that token, so just click the reset token, and if you haven't already clicked this once, you'll just get a new token, and you can use that. Now I'm not going to show you my token, but you put that into this ENV file right here. Just copy and paste it. My model's going to be Llama 2. I'll leave the server IP the same as it is. And now we need to know what channels we want to add this to. In order to see the channel ID, you're going to need to be in developer mode. That's all the way down here in your preferences. Under advanced, make sure you check developer mode. Once you have that, you can right click on any channel and copy that channel ID. Back in VS Code, we paste that in there, click save, and feel free to customize any of these other things. This requires mention means you have to add your bot in order to get it to respond. So we're almost there. It says to start the bot with npm start. But one thing they are missing is that you need to npm install, or npm i is the shortcut. And it will install all the dependencies that are listed in this package JSON. So the main dependency that they're using is discord.js. So if you have any problems or if you want to extend this and try different things, discord.js is going to be the thing that is driving most of the interactions here. So that's where you'd want to be looking for help. Now that we've installed it, we can run npm start. And now here in Discord, you can see, glad you're here, Llamabot. So Llamabot is here, and we should be able to message Llamabot. Llamabot's going to think about it. I can see my question here in the terminal for my Olama server. I mean, we get a response, 20%. I don't entirely recommend taking real estate advice from a chatbot, but hey, proceed at your own risk. So that's going to conclude this video. We set up our very own AI chatbot running locally on a Discord channel of choice. And in future videos, we'll dig into other ways to utilize Llama and customize our chatbots. Thanks for tuning in.